Well, g'day folks, welcome to another PTP Fishing and I'm on holidays in South Australia and one of the things I always look forward to when I'm down here is going crabbing, blue swimmer crabs. As you would know from one of my previous videos, and I'll put a link somewhere about me here, um, I have done a video on the land base, the raking for crabs. It's had quite a few views, so uh, if you're interested in that, check that out. Today it's all about drop nets, so uh, very, very different to the crabbing in Queensland. So blue swimmer crabs, you'd go and put a pot in the water, you'd soak it for a full tide or overnight. Here it's much, much different. So I wanted to show you that, show you how they do it down here in South Australia and hopefully show you how to do it successfully. So uh, I'll take you through it all as we're going. Um, it's time to get out there. I've got both my girls, my wife and my youngest daughter with me today to help me out. They can do all the hard work and I'll just do the filming. So welcome to another PTP fishing. Blue swimmer crabbing in South Australia. So the beauty of doing this is, is all of the fish frames, so whether they be Tommy Ruff like these guys here or Australian Herring, Snook, Red Mullet, we've also got some Squid, I've got Brim, I've got all sorts of stuff. So it turns the offal into something hopefully very edible. So we'll find that out, we'll get these pots in the water. So the plan of attack is to put these guys in various depths. And what we're trying to do when we're looking at this, so you can see on the sounder it's a fairly flat bottom and it's actually coming up onto a rise onto the spit here at, at Port Vincent. So what I'm going to do is slowly motor my way up. And what we're trying to do is find some sandier patches or some areas where there's less weed and hopefully the crabs are sitting in those sand patches. So a little bit too deep at the moment. The plan is just to motor forward, find the areas that look suitable, drop these pots down and then um, we'll check them in about 15-20 minutes time. waiting for those pots to uh, soak for a little bit, which isn't very long, 10-15 minutes. A little bit of squidding in between. Always nice to uh, do something, but once the action starts, we go and check those pots. Like I said, it's about 10-15 minutes. We'll go and pull them up and uh, see if uh, we've put them in the right depths, in the right spots. At the moment we've got two pots in 15 feet of water two pots in 12 foot of water so uh we'll see where the crabs are well, i've got a squid look have you yeah. oh you had a squid no longer. oh yeah i can see him look at him swimming up there you go so the squidding this is the first action can you see the squid in the water So it's been about 15 minutes since we put the pots down. We're going to go and do a first check. And the reason that you check them so quickly is obviously with a drop net sitting flat on the bottom. So if you just let them feed and feed and feed, they'll just go and pinch your bait and swim away. So the idea is checking them as reasonably regularly. And that way, uh, there's a crab in there we get him rather than him pinching our bait so uh, see how good a driver I am I don't do this very often but we'll see how we go and oi look at that bingo sneak in there look at that one big one and one that we're going to have to check, so uh, that, that, oh, hang on, let me get out, just hang on two seconds in. So that one there is no issue whatsoever, this one here, just show them where you have to check it in by. So that one is too small. That's that one going back in and we'll go and check the next one.
that one. Oh no, maybe one. One undersized by the look of it. No, tiny. Sorry, it was a bit of a stretch. in that one so just very quickly Emma if you hop out of the way so we've got so this guy is a female or this one is a female you can see it's got the rounded bottom and this is a male so you can keep female crabs in South Australia we don't do it and they've got the same size everything's the same we will check all of these but I would think that one's a chance of being legal but these two are definitely undersized spread of nets as we've got them so uh, the two white ones on the outside are in the deeper water and the two orange are in the shallow we're going around now to check them again it's as simple as that it takes about 10 minutes to do the first check and then we go back and check that first pot again that's crabbing in South Australia two, so a male and a female so a little female and a a decent male. See if I can see him coming up this time. Definitely crabs in there again. Oh, look at them all. They're all little fellas. And there's definitely something in there. Little, little one. So we might move this one into the deeper water, I think. There's the haul after uh, two runs of the uh, pots. So what do we got there? Two, four, six. That's not too bad. Every single one, every lift has had some in it so far, which is exceptional crabbing. Very, very good indeed. So far, I haven't missed one either. Hopefully, I don't jinx myself. But, uh... Emily just said to me, I nearly missed one, or nearly isn't missing one. So. Uh... Got it. And it looks like it's got one in it again. At least one. one two. two. Big one. one big one, one little one. So a male and a female again. And it's going to be, oh no, it's not a blank, but there's one in there that I can see. Two little fellas. Alrighty, so again, the shallow one's producing smaller crabs. So we're going to put this one out in the deep where we've been getting the bigger ones one that's got all big ones that'd be nice yeah, it's definitely got in it as well you can see it actually looks like there's a lot in there <laughs> so there's one there's one rock crab in there and uh, they're all tiny nah, they're all undersized those ones yeah, so as we said as I said they're all undersized so they're gonna go back we're just gonna put those back so this is a rock crab not what we're after, very cool looking thing, um, but that's definitely a putbacker as well. That's a female too, by the look of it. No, it's not actually. There you go. What would I know? Wow, there's a lot in there again, huh? A few better size one there, or at least one. Yeah. What are you seeing down there, Em? Oh, no. Alright, yeah. So that says maybe we need to refresh the baits. Got him? 
still getting crabs in every pot, just uh, the size has been a bit indifferent the last few goes. Oh, there we go, that's what we're after. Bingo. One good one. Right. One definite. Yeah. Oh, I reckon that's two. That'll be close. And the winner is right. Sydney. Two of them. Thank you. What? Yeah. Just pull those crabs up, would you? in that's our haul so far gotta be happy with that there's a most probably 13 or 14 which is quite a few hundred dollars worth of crabs most probably if you went to buy them at the market well worth the effort uh, last run three pots to go hopefully we can add to our tally well it's not a blank this one I can see at least one two so a big female which we've got what all we need so we'll let her go Radio. silly me is going to do the last one can we add to our tally well there's one in there I don't know how big he's going to be though and we've added to a tally with the last one I reckon absolutely nice way to finish so that's lucky last for the day easily legal adds to the tally we've had a great little afternoon on the water hello Mr Seal <laughs> didn't even disturb oh, up so there you are, the end result of a couple of hours of, uh, oh, I don't know, what you call them, drop netting for crabs, blue swimmer crabs here in South Australia. And that's it for this PTP fishing. Stoked with our afternoon. The best part about it is I didn't have to pull those pots up, I only did the last one. Emily did a fabulous job and we've got a fantastic feed for the extended family that you would have seen in that other boat out in the water. I think the fabulous thing with the whole thing was the fact that there was a lot of undersized ones out there as well. Plenty of females and certainly there was very, very few pots that we got nothing at all. So it uh, shows you it's a healthy fishery outside of uh, Port Vincent here. It's good fun doing it. It's starting to get a little bit cold. Uh, I think it's beer o'clock on this holiday. So uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you next time from PTP Fishing. See you later.